Hi everyone, welcome to Ukunda Home, a place where we go to love ourselves and love the spaces we live in. And uh, yeah, it's been a minute, you guys. But one thing, when I disappear here, it doesn't mean I don't really want to produce content. I do, I do, I always want to. But so much has been going on why I haven't been here, honestly. First, end of year, last year, I did ask um, some questions because uh, we well, really gaining to i was coming to 1k subscribers which i felt like i needed to do a q and a some of you guys sent in questions on my instagram so i'm gonna tackle some of those questions um some of those questions that you guys asked and then uh, from there i'll take you through my life what i've been doing and um what some of the plans we have on this channel but mainly to share with you some tips to improve your space make sure you love your space to make sure you create a space that you love a place that you call your own that said one of the questions that is more relatable to the channel was um, you guys help pronounce the name how to design african boho interior for small apartments thank you love your videos thank you so much of course i'm gonna do a whole video on that that will come out next week so if you're here just watch out for that the next question is where have you been I spy Linda Tina. Ah, where have I been? While I do love to create content, also so much has been going on. I have uh, an announcement to make, by the way, because you guys, you've been asking, so this is the time to answer that. So, first and foremost, I went to Africa. I was there for a month, and you could be wondering what I was doing. You guys, I went searching for African textiles, like you can see. I, see, 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 mud growth. I love it. And uh, also, in case you haven't seen my face, I don't know, I tried to draw. Um, these are African patterns that signify wealthy and luxury. And you can see here also in the pros. So I went to Africa to search for African textiles, which I wanted to use in my home. And also, oh, announcement, we also got the goods. You guys have been asking, like, when are we going to have some of the goods we talk about on this channel? So we're gonna start with of course selling the mud growth and uh, i know most people are like these are really amazing so mainly how is the product made uh well this is a uh, hundred percent cotton fabric okay and um, the cotton is ugandan cotton okay it's grown in uganda by ugandan cotton farmers mm, mm. and then the yarn <clears throat> the yarn is processed Okay, okay. In Uganda, by a textile mill, mm, where mm. we buy the yarn, mm, mm. and then uh, the fabric is designed and and hand woven uh, at our workshops by Ugandan women. <clears throat> by Ugandan women, whom we have also trained. These are traditional made, like they're made by women in Mali, and these patterns that you see, they all have meaning. By the way, I think I will need to do a video about that. Someone asked about that, so I'll do a video later after the boho video. I think it will come next. So these are made by women from Mali, and uh, they are hand painted, like they are hand painted using plant dyes, which is amazing. It's good for the environment, and I talk about them so so much because of that. It has texture, like you know, this is when you receive this mud growth. It's more of like it got that texture. It got you can see the imperfections this mud growth fits in every setting and that's the good part about it and i know some people always use this mud growth or these patterns in their settings in their interiors giving them different names like you can never tell where they're from which is why it's more important on this channel that i talk about these things these are made by african women from mali they are hand painted so if you smell it actually it does smell different the smell it's it's unique because of the plant dyes have you ever felt smelled the earth like when it rains and you 
in uh, maybe in the field and then that uh, the smell that comes out it somehow connects like the way <laughs> they smell like they smell different it has a rich character and you can see the imperfections of how it was made so when i got them and then i went in uganda i did the whole pillowcases and then we had to do piping to give it some class you can see here on the side it got some piping these are going to be available on the website so they will be shipped from africa with our partners in Africa who we are working with, the shipment, it's costly, you feel, I don't know why. There are so many goods like, for instance, Lava Titian in Kenya, I was, talk I was talking to the CEO, they have these amazing chairs, but they can't ship abroad because of the shipping cost, like they are insane. I don't know why, but it, um, I don't know how, when that is gonna change, but some of these pillows, they're gonna be available on the website. Please check it out. And also for people, People who would want clean lines that they don't want um, like they just prefer the clean lines but they would want African elements in their space for machine prints say if you want that kind of style they will be available also there is a style for you in different colors so so you've been asking you guys ah, oh, when are we going to have these products these are the products you've started with please go to the website make sure you support us and also uh, to answer another question some said um why did we change the name from kunda 7 apparently when you have a business idea you're supposed to buy a domain which i didn't and uh when we were trying to buy a domain someone else had exactly both the same domain created a, a different facebook page for the same name when you want the name back you have to go and buy it from this person and i thought that was a whole lot of headache to do once you feel like i have this kind of idea i would love to open something or make something in it in the future please go buy your domain to save your money or save headache so the next question was asked by uh Richard Jane, uh, when was your turning point? Honestly, uh, when was my turning point? I, I actually don't get the question. Some I'm, I'm gonna leave that out because I don't understand it and some it isn't related to the channel. And some other questions are actually personal questions. Like, I just feel like they don't relate to the channel because this is home deco and everything. So I'm gonna answer for someone who asked how to do to design African boho interior for small apartments, please check out next week. It's gonna be up. And then plans for the new year for your channel. Uh, that's again Linda. Plans for the new year for the channel. I know this. We are halfway around the year, so yeah, these have been my plans. Going back to Africa and doing all the the product search I was doing, and then uh, making sure you guys I can bring you products which are here now. Cause yeah, I got so many questions where can we buy the products i'm like i'm working on it i know there are a few that we offer for now but with time we'll see how it goes and then we'll be adding other items did i introduce myself because i meant to do that for the new people who are here for the new people who are here say so i'm Doreen. i say in bayern that's in the south of germany <laughs> i say in bayern because mostly because um, it's a different state like germany is made up of different states the city is munich so yeah but also my roots uh, way from east africa uganda and uh, recently i was actually researching my roots like where we came from so my parents like my grandparents came from uh, uh like for my dad's side they came from randa but also randa is just a name that they gave a place before that these people came from somewhere so we are all under the band group i think we are under the band group so my mom is from uh, the bachiga tribe but at the end of the day i think i love to identify like um i'm from from the band tribe and from that i would say always like i'm human i'm human though i have those identities that i identify with and um, i'm proud with each one of them i'm proud to be who i am i'm proud and i'm super proud to be alive and i'm grateful to our creator actually that i got this opportunity to live this life that i live so yeah okay so that said got some other products actually from uganda which you're gonna see i got this koye from 
Mimi Ganda, it's um, it's a thrill which you would use on a sofa. It's handmade also. It's uh, it's made on those rooms. It's made from cotton by some of the women in Uganda. If you're in some of the warm countries, this could serve as something you could use to oh, to cover yourself. Like you could use this in so many ways. Actually, it's 100% made from cotton and made by hands. There's so many African textile actually that I haven't discussed yet. Like there's so many, like the kente, like the chitenge from Uganda. There is the there's so many that I'm yet to share with you guys. And uh, mostly I chose the mud growth because it's really made organically, like the whole process. Uh, I talk about it so much because of that. Of course, even in this allowance, um, they use cotton, most of them, but most of the changes, like you'll see, there will be machine prints. If you're someone that you want a pop of color, these other textile would really do great. I'm gonna show you actually how I transformed my spice. Like it was amazing. My spice was already good, but now I'm going to turn it around and show you once i added the mud growth pillows how everything added together and you know the good side of stuff is that mud growth does fit in every setting whether you have a modern home it's really classy to the extent that it fits in every style really come to an end of this video hopefully i've been able to answer some of the questions you guys would have if there was anything please let me know down in the comments below or what some of your thoughts are please if you need anything check us out and support us on our website and of course you can also support us by just subscribing or sharing with your friends and here or commenting that would be really appreciated and uh, thank you so much thank you for watching i think i'm gonna see you in the next video. So a quick one, I wanted to let you guys that if you want to shop for home accessories, whether it's for Christmas, that you should do so right now to save money. Because right now we aren't charging for taxes. Our company is pretty much new, so we are exempted from taxes. So you want to save some money, go shop your accessories right now. And then, um, Another thing, I wanted to apologize for the audio of the videos that we are really putting out right now because um, I got a rappel and it's not really working well. But uh, in the future, I'm planning to get another mic. But for now, you've gotten to forgive me. The rappel isn't working right. Every time I turn, it doesn't really get my voice. But um, I apologize for that in other words. <laughs>